All right, Jason Gray, welcome back to the Jason Gray Show. I got my good friend Jeff. How are you, Jeff? Hello. Perfect. That's the best <laughs> intro ever. All right. So when we when you came in today, we talked about you know um, unemployment, unemployment security, that sort of messy system that you think they would have down by now, right? Right. Yeah. And uh, you know, due to the pandemic, that type of thing, it's it's very very convoluted. It is, it, and and they don't respond. Non-responsive. Um, there's been there's been times where you're calling the unemployment yeah. office, you get to an hour of hold time, and it just hangs up on you. Yeah. Or it'll give you that message that says, you know, call back another time because we're too busy. Right. So I was explaining to you just a little bit before Alex, uh, our daughter, you know, she got this letter in the mail that said that she was responsible for some back support she got during the COVID times. And Alex, who's our captain responsible, as you know, right. she documents literally everything, which is great. Um, but when you, we got this letter and she technically had to have a court case explaining her situation and what was going on. And it was really funny during the hearing, the judge is reading through the notes of what Alex had got in response. Mm -hmm. And she had this enlightening moment, which was really funny. She goes, it never says what type of documentation you were supposed to supply to get this cleared. And Alex right. and then Alex says, or the judge says, did you get this? And she goes, no. And the judge says, well, do you have this information? She goes, yeah. I, she goes, I can email it to my dad while we're on this Zoom <laughs> hearing. Right. You know, I, we can get to you in like 30 seconds. And the judge pretty much shook her head, pretty much saying this is sort of crazy. So so your experience has sort of been the same thing she was experiencing, right? You right. know, y you went through this process and, and you can't get anyone to tell you what to do. Right. Right. Now, do they have, do, can you walk into the offices anymore? Uh, no. So the, what do they do is they have uh, they have uh, representatives that you can meet with virtually. There is a couple field offices, uh -huh. but they have no direct connection to the unemployment. Got you. So it's more of a it's more of a counselor type of situation. Yeah. And but the caveat is is they can't they can't do anything directly. Right. Their advice is to keep using the the Automated. emails and that type of thing. Yeah. So you technically have to file everyone on a weekly basis, thinking that at some point in time, hopefully they catch up. Right. So, so, and if you look at it, this, the financial impact for someone is is dramatic, right? The, you, this can be months. It's not like a couple of days. We're talking a couple of months, right? Right. And right. so, so this is a real life struggle. Obviously, government is not business, which is really, really sad. I mean, if you take a look at this as a business, they would no longer be in business. Right? No, not at all. <laughs> right, <laughs> which is which is so crazy. Not at all. Yeah. So obviously, there's so there needs to be some reform. Now, I remember during COVID times, they had that the Nigerian uh, people that uh, the scam artists that had taken billions of dollars from our system, and it right. sounds like they recovered some of that money, but the layers that they have put in place makes it impossible for a common person just to sort of get their stuff done. Right. Right, and some of the problem too with the. Uh, with the actual site where you're applying for benefits, the questions are very convoluted mm -hmm. and they don't meet everybody's criteria. Right. Like if you're a typical wage earner that just, you know, say like you work at McDonald's, yeah, you know what your hourly is, you know what your weekly is, those type of things, that's fine. Yeah. Point blank, vanilla, that's easy. Right. But if you have something like commission, yeah. or maybe you are working a job that's 1099, yeah. Um, that bonuses, type of thing. Yeah. bonuses, that right. type of thing. It comes into play, but they haven't updated the question basis for that situation, that situation right. at all. And right. so, you know, it, it puts you into, you don't qualify Yeah, and chase it. And then you have chase. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty sad. Okay. So. Well, um, if anyone knows anyone who's, you know, that's in that arena that could give us some input or some comments. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. If you have your own comments uh, or experienced something, leave your comments below, like, and subscribe. And I appreciate your time. Take care. Thanks.